the objective is to use exponents to denote powers of 10 with application to metric conversions. Let's start with this problem here. 2 meters equals how many centimeters? Well, 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. So 2 meters equals 200 centimeters. How could I write that as a power of 10? Well, that would be 2 times 10 squared. 2 times 10 squared, which does equal 200. So that's 2 times 10 squared centimeters. We knew, and we know now, that 2 meters equals 200 centimeters. Now, if we had 1 and 37 hundredths meters, how many centimeters is that? How would you convert that? Well, it's more than a meter, but it's less than 2 meters. So it's, so it's not quite as much as 200 meters, and it's more than 100. What would you get? Did you say 137? How would we write that as a multiplication sentence with exponents? What could we write? We would write 1.37 times 10 squared. How many millimeters would that be? Well, we would actually just multiply by 10 because 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters. So that would be 1.37 times 10 cubed millimeters, which also equals 1,370 millimeters. Okay, it's your turn to try. Rewrite 2 and 6 tenths meters into centimeters and then also millimeters as powers of 10. Pause the video while you do your work. From meters to centimeters, you just multiply by 10 squared. And then so that equals 260. From millimeters, we're multiplying by 10 to the third power. And then so for the answer here, that would be 2,600. Look over your work. You should have written your answers as powers of 10. We can also go from a smaller unit to a larger unit. Let's see how this is done. In this case, going from millimeters to centimeters, we divide by 100, or divide by 10. So that's 3,000 divided by 10, which is equal to 300, which we can write as 3 times 10 squared. Three hundred centimeters, well, one hundred centimeters equals one meter. To get from centimeters to meters, then we divide by one hundred. Three hundred divided by one hundred is equal to three, which we can write in. So we've gone from a smaller unit to larger units. There's 10 millimeters inside of a centimeter. There's 100 centimeters inside of a meter. Let's work through another problem. Here's 2,670 millimeters. Let's convert it to centimeters first. We take 2,670 and we divide by 10, where we get 267, 
which we can write as 2.67 times 10 squared. How would we write that as a decimal then? Well, let's see. It's 2.67 times 10 squared divided by 100 because there's 100 centimeters and a meter. And so the answer there is 2.67. So again, we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. 10 millimeters in each centimeter, and 100 centimeters in each meter. Okay, it is your turn to try. Please go ahead and pause the video while you do your work. Did you first divide by 10 to get 260? Which you can write as what times 10 squared? Right, 2.6 times 10 squared. So be sure to write it both ways with exponents as well. When you divide by 100, you end up getting 2.6. Look over your work. The key is to understand how each of these things is related. So for instance, 100, 1 meter equals 100 centimeters, and 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters. Our smallest unit of measurement is our millimeters, and our largest unit of measurement that we're looking at using right now is meters within the metric system. And so you have to understand how it is that you're related and whether or not that we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit or a smaller unit to a larger unit to understand how to convert in between each of these.